Okay, hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out the messages for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They give us them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time that you felt guided to the channel by spirit. So let's find out what energies want to come through today for you, Pisces. So please note that these are intuitive channeled messages. They're not tarot. I feel um, really guided to share that this is intuitive channeled messages. I'm channeling from the higher dimension. So um, not everybody has the ability to channel from the higher realms, the higher, higher dimensions. So if you're watching tarot, some people are reading these cards from a book. They're not actually using spiritual gifts to do it. So just be careful and make sure that you only watch messages that you feel resonate with you in the current moment. So listen to your intuition and be really selective of what you do feel is for you. Okay, so um, I also would like to call upon spirit to protect anybody who's watching these messages and all these messages that I post, I pray that they will be sent to everybody um, who needs to hear them. And we call upon all of the light beings to protect us from any darker energies that are trying to attack us through anything online. Um, I, yeah, I just revoke, rebuke and call upon Archangel Michael to really make sure that this is a protected space. And yeah, call upon spirit to really protect our energy and return to send to anyone who sends any evil eye, dark magic, black magic, voodoo, curses, all that kind of things, return to sender. So in saying that, let's start the message. Uh, we have here a dragonfly. So I feel like someone is daydreaming about you, Pisces. Someone is fantasizing and daydreaming about you because you've established some boundaries. So someone doesn't have access to your energy. So you could have connected with the Leo message this week because it was all about boundaries. Boundaries. So I feel like you've got a divine masculine energy is fantasizing about you because you're his wish fulfillment, a dream come true, but you've blocked this connection, divine feminine, due to your newfound boundaries. So your newfound boundaries have this divine masculine thinking about you, daydreaming about you. It's a very creative divine masculine. He could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And I feel like with this energy of the dragonfly, he's fantasizing about you creatively. He's daydreaming about you. He might have been getting some sexual energy towards you. But you've established some healthy boundaries with this G-Hobby energy and you've kind of blocked the connection. And I feel like this Divine Masculine sees you with the Fairy Godmother's energy as his wish fulfillment. So this is like the Cinderella energy, you know, the Cinderella story. When you wish upon a star, that is what's coming through. So you're this Divine Masculine star is wish fulfillment. But for whatever reason, you have blocked the connection energetically because you've got some healthy boundaries and your healthy boundaries are causing him to fantasize about you. So he doesn't have access to you the way that he might have in the past. And it's because you're um, putting up some boundaries. So that's the first message that wants to come through. A divine masculine is daydreaming about his divine feminine because he doesn't have access to her energy. And she's put up some boundaries and she's his wish fulfillment and dream come true. So he's thinking about her. He's daydreaming about her. He might be fantasizing about what would happen if he was able to permeate those boundaries. So let's find out what the other energy is that would like to come through this message. So let's go over here. What's the other energy? Starfish. Your wish fulfillment is clarity. Clarifying this. So you're a star, divine feminine. We have the starfish. So I feel like you're this divine masculine's dream come true, his wish fulfillment. This is someone who gets a lot of attention without seeking it. And you're very open. You're very receptive. You're very empathic. So I feel like maybe you, you're someone who's previously been very open and receptive to this masculine, but you're embodying some healthy boundaries now because I feel like this is a divine feminine energy who's a bit of an empath. 
The starfish is like an open and receptive energy who's very sensitive. It's a highly sensitive empath type energy. It's also someone who gets a lot of attention without seeking it. And someone who could be like semi-famous or in the public eye. So you could be an, an influencer with a huge following on social media. You could be someone who is semi-famous. Um, but it's just an energy of someone who is just a star and people really admire you. Um, they see your value. And I think this Divine Masculine's fantasizing about you because I feel that you're his dream come true, his wish fulfillment, because you're his beautiful star. So let's find out what's happening with the Divine Feminine Spirit Guides. And people supporting her. Yeah, so I really feel that this Divine Feminine is like really stepped into her highest self. So I feel like you're the best version of yourself right now. And I feel you've got a lot of people in the physical and in the spirit realm who really admire you and look up to you because I feel like you're building some kind of empire here whether that's like a career project or music or entertainment it's a beautiful kind of journey that you've been on and people really admire your work whatever it is you're doing they really are looking up to you and with a collective of pixies they're just in awe of what it is you're you're creating and with the solace energy this is the divine masculine principle i feel like it's a divine feminine who's really stepped into her higher self so this is um the energy of ascension here like as you can see the starfish is not touching this ground i mean that could be considered as sand or it can also be considered as you know going with the flow with water let's see what i get from that energy I feel like you're a float. Yeah, I feel like you're a drift. So I feel like you're going with the flow in life. I feel like this is the energy of ascension coming through. So you've really ascended to a really high vibration, Divine Feminine. And you're really going with the flow of your life. And I'm seeing a starfish, you know, clairvoyantly in my mind's eye that's just floating. And it's like with the flow of the sea and the ocean. So as the tide comes in and out, you're just going with the flow of the universe and I feel like, you know, there's a lot of people here with a collective of pixies who are really, really supporting you in terms of um, what it is you're growing and achieving. So I feel like you're in the public eye in some way and you're really in a high vibration. You're going with the flow and you've ascended. And I feel like there's a lot of people who admire you, including this divine masculine. So he's kind of like, uh, you're a bit untouchable and unapproachable, unreachable. It's more like un untouchable, unreachable. And I feel like he's fantasizing about what it would be like to be in your energy and your presence and get you back. So let's clarify what this divine masculine is fantasizing about. What's he daydreaming about? What's, it, what's on his mind about you? So I feel like it's a divine masculine who's like really going every over everything in his mind's eye in detail. So he's thinking about your past encounters, everything you said to him, reading over old messages, thinking about the sexual encounters that you may have had, but he's studying everything in detail. And I feel like he's daydreaming and fantasizing about you because I feel like this is a divine masculine who's going through a bit of a spiritual awakening with the sage's energy, the blind man sees the error of his ways. So I feel the blind man sees the error of his ways because I feel like he's recognizing things and seeing things clearly now. So what he's fantasizing about is all his past encounters with you, you know, where he went wrong, you know, all the good moments he had with you. And he's, he's, he's seeing his mistakes and the error of his ways. So Let's clarify exactly what the fantasy is about. What would happen if he had courage to show you how he feels about you, to show you how he's, you know, changed and transformed and you're his wish fulfillment? So I feel like he's thinking about like all the times he had the opportunity to tell you how he feels or come forward and connect with you. And maybe he held back and he's kind of recognizing, you know, I wasn't you know, really open or expressive. And with the singer of courage, he's kind of feeling like 
you know, what would it be like if I actually said what I wanted to say? What would it be like if I actually had some courage? And I feel like that's his energy. He's fantasizing about being the lion, the divine masculine, and showing you how he feels. So that is the situation here. Let's find out why this divine feminine is such a star. We have Mikula Muckle, we have That Old Gnome's Energy, and we have Arvo the Parrot. So I feel like she's coming up as the starfish because I feel like she is a very good communicator, and I feel like this Divine Masculine was possibly operating an immature energy in the past, and I feel like she is curious about what he has to say for himself, and she's communicated how she feels, and I feel like she's coming up as a starfish because she just handled everything very gracefully, like a bit of a star. So I feel like, you know, this Divine Masculine was behaving quite immaturely. He um he wasn't acting with courage towards her with his feelings. And I feel like with that old gnome's energy, this is a divine feminine who's a master manifester. So she kind of knows that this divine masculine and her have a profound connection. And I think she was communicating like that this was a, a like wish fulfillment, this connection. But he handled it quite immaturely. So I feel like she's a star because she was open, she was receptive. And this was a dream come true. And I feel like she feels like he handled the whole thing very immaturely. Like, you don't fumble a wish fulfillment kind of vibe here. So I just feel like the reason why she's coming up as a star is just the graceful energy. And she kind of, you know, knew that this was like something that she manifested because she's a powerful manifester. So I just feel like... The master was a little bit immature because he didn't value the feminine and the connection. And now he's kind of seeing things clearly and recognizing where he went wrong. And he's fantasizing about having another opportunity to do this again because he's recognizing the value of the connection. So I think she's a star because she's quite gifted. Like intuitively, she knew that this was like, you know, a really profound connection. And she's a star because she's very empathic and intuitive. So she's a star because she can feel the energy and, and sense the energy. And she's a highly sensitive empath. And that makes her gifted, talented, and a star. So yeah, that's what's coming through. Let's find out what the connective energy is. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading now, Pisces. If you're resonating with the message, the link is below in the description box to the extended reading. You can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access this reading individually or you can join my Patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate. I really appreciate your energy exchange. It keeps me on YouTube full time. So the connective energy is tarantula and fire ant because I feel like this divine masculine and this divine feminine had like a sexual encounter and I feel like the divine masculine kind of treated the divine feminine like she was just like a one night stand or a sex object and I feel like with the fire ants energy you guys are both really frustrated that this happened like I feel like you guys kind of hit it and quit it really fast and I feel like you had sex probably a little bit too fast you know, it was like a firework in the beginning and then it kind of fizzled out. And I feel like, you know, you got, you're both really frustrated that this happened because this is a really deep and profound connection. And I feel like, um, there's an energy here of, I wish we had more time. I wish we took things slower and I wish we didn't treat this connection so casually in the beginning so let's find out what your guidance is moving forward over in the extended reading if you're resonating with this message the link is below in the description box to the extended reading you can follow me over to vimeo if you want otherwise i'll see you next time take care bye pisces